SMT Nation, we back. We have a story here from Light Reading. I will link this in the description. One of the topics of discussion that comes up all the time on my YouTube channel and my videos, the discussions we have on the podcast. Something that Verizon has historically done very well in a lot of markets where they have a lot of traffic, a lot of networking traffic, lots of users, high market share. What they've done is they've used small cells, also known as CRAN, in order to provide additional capacity where the macro cell sites, the large, tall tower sites, are not able to support all the usage on the network. Those small cells essentially saved Verizon before C-band. All right. So for like the two, three, maybe even four years, right, dating back probably to like 2017, 2018, Verizon realized that in some markets, their market share was so high and they saw that their network was getting bogged down by just having macros. They started to build out small cells. And what those small cells do is they essentially take a geographic area, right? Whatever that area is served by the, the regular macro site, the tall tower. And by installing a small cell somewhat nearby, you can split the cell. You're essentially going to position that small cell where a large chunk or bulk of the user base is, where they typically are using their phones, and you absorb and take on some of that usage. I have seen very strategic and intelligent ways of implementing small cells in Cleveland where they can essentially take off 50 or 60 percent of that cell towers data users and put them onto that small cell and what those small cells also can do is oftentimes you can get multi-gig fiber connected to those CRAN and small cells so you can create even more capacity sometimes than even the macro can provide the only limitation is going to be range that's why it's strategically placed in certain locations now the reason i wanted to give you guys that preface is because Verizon has not been doing it much this year. I haven't seen many CRAN or small cells installed. All of the Verizon action has been upgrading macro sites with C-band and CBRS and doing macro cell tower upgrades. They focused all their resources and efforts there. Meanwhile, they did commit to continuing the millimeter wave node build, right? Which are, I guess, technically CRAN as well. All right. They're, they're it's technically a small cell. They find poles and lights, uh, light poles and street poles, and they slap on the millimeter wave notes to create gigabits of speed, right? And it's essentially the same premise as a small cell. It's just different frequencies, right? Uh, and sometimes they do both. Like they'll do CBRS, they'll do other forms of LT, and they'll also do millimeter wave on those same sites, all right? It just depends where they can get the fiber and, you know, where they get clearance from the municipalities or cities or whatever. Anyways, we have new commitments and disclosures from the Verizon CTO, Chief Technical Officer Ed Chan, and he said that the operator plans to speed up its small cell build out starting in 2023. So this all but confirms that they have put all of their efforts, energy, resources, and money into the C-band build through macro sites. Here's one thing I would note though, and I would ask him, are some of these small cells that you're going to start building out in 2023 are they going to be the c-band type because this is what we'd want to see correct i think so <laughs> me personally i think i would want to ask that question because with now the radio gear is going to be complicated you need that right it's got to be c-band enabled the antennas you know you could do cbrs for lte uh you could do all some some other lt stuff but like you're going to find a way you know <laughs> It says here Verizon anticipates small cells activity will ramp in 2023 as activity shift towards 16T16R deployments from early 8T8R deployments that were built in 2022. This is going to bring 5G radios that are going to offer more capacity. This is huge. All right, newer 5G radios can generally support more antennas, including 16T16R configurations. All right, that's major. I'm expecting um n48 cbrs 5g i'm expecting the c-band stuff here too all right so maybe our maybe our question was answered possibly they were speaking to wells fargo executives about this the small cell news could be important to equipment vendors okay so that would be like ericsson comscope uh samsung nokia well not nokia but uh they do use ericsson and samsung 
And in my market, it's Samsung. So I'd want to know a little bit from Samsung. But they specifically are mentioning Ericsson here. Maybe they know something we don't. Uh, Ericsson Markets might be the first one to get this. All right. Crown Castle. They're typically the ones that do a lot of the small sales for Verizon in my region. Probably a lot of you out there as well. Uh, but these are what the small cells look like. I, you'll see like these canister looking things at the top. And then you'll see the radios near the bottom. And you'll see these on like street corners, on sidewalks, sometimes 20, 30 feet up. You know, you'll see them on like the, uh, the, the utility lines, cables, fiber, power, and stuff like that. Uh, but this is pretty nice here. It says Verizon is largely regarded as the leader in small cells. The company so far has deployed 30,000 small cells for millimeter wave. They did 17,000 the first year. They did 15,000 or 14,000 right after that. And then they said they're doing they're doing that again this year. So they're committing to the millimeter wave and CRAN build. And I can't tell you guys how happy I am. This is like music to my ears. Verizon has an incredible macro grid here. That's not the issue. They don't need macro sites here. They've got a macro essentially on average like every mile here, sometimes a mile and a half. They don't have dead spots really. That's not the issue. It's addressing these spots where they have heavy usage. So we're talking about like outside of shopping centers, shopping malls, definitely outside of apartment buildings where you have, you know, multi-dwelling units, condos. You want to target these areas with this and then get all of that traffic off of the macro sites and get them onto these small cells. And a lot of times, guys and gals, these small cells have multi-gig fiber available to them. You can create tons and tons of capacity through millimeter wave, through C-band, through CBRS. Verizon does have one heck of a repertoire and portfolio of assets that they can utilize. All right, so I'm really excited about this. AT&T does C-RAN pretty good too here. I don't see much C-RAN from T-Mobile. We'll see if we can get a disclosure from them sometime soon. But uh, yeah, Verizon, the, the C-RAN, the small cell champions. All right, it's coming. Wow, this is huge. I can't wait to see this. Um, look forward to this coming your way. If you're in a major metropolitan area, major market you might be the first ones to see this we shall see comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this you all the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard like share subscribe for more turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload check out some of the links in the description for my twitter handle business increase to the gmail address in the description and my patreon page link is there if you want to support us and get early access to content and exclusive videos and live streams not found anywhere else thanks for watching and listening we'll see you all on the next one peace